in the heart of a lively city, where towering skyscrapers cast shadows on the narrow streets below, a soccer team existed that had become synonymous with defeat. The Cobalt City Wanderers, as they were known, had endured an unprecedented losing streak that left their supporters disheartened and their reputation tarnished. But amid the despair, an unlikely hero emerged, Thomas Mitchell, a man driven not by the desire for personal glory but by an insatiable curiosity to uncover the truth behind the team's consistent failures. Thomas, a middle-aged software engineer with a penchant for soccer, had been a loyal spectator of the Cobalt City Wanderers for as long as he could remember. He had witnessed the highs and lows, the cheers of victory, and the collective sighs of defeat. But the unrelenting losing streak had sparked a flame within him, an unquenchable thirst to understand the root cause of the team's perennial downfall. One gloomy evening, after another crushing defeat, Thomas made a life-altering decision. Tired of being a mere spectator, he approached the team's manager, John Reynolds, with an unexpected proposition. Thomas wanted to join the Cobalt City Wanderers, not as a player seeking personal glory, but as an observer determined to unravel the mystery behind their continuous failures. Initially skeptical, manager Reynolds saw a glint of determination in Thomas's eyes that resonated with his passion for the beautiful game. Against all odds, Thomas became a member of the Cobalt City Wanderers, donning the same blue jersey that had seen countless defeats. Little did he know that this decision would open the door to a world he never imagined, a world of untapped potential and resilience in the face of adversity. As Thomas integrated into the team, he discovered a stark reality that eluded the casual observer. The players, a diverse group from the city's poorest areas, faced challenges far beyond the soccer field. Their gear was substandard, worn-out remnants salvaged from thrift stores and community donations. Many of them lacked proper soccer shoes, resorting to playing barefoot on the gravel-strewn pitch. Their practice sessions were sporadic, and the absence of a dedicated training facility forced them to make do with whatever open space they could find. Determined to understand the root cause of the team's struggles, Thomas delved into the personal stories of his teammates. He discovered tales of hardship, perseverance, and an unyielding spirit that refused to succumb to the harsh realities of their lives. One player, Miguel, had grown up in a neighborhood plagued by crime and poverty, using soccer as a lifeline to escape the clutches of despair. Another Aisha, had overcome gender stereotypes to pursue her passion for the game in a society that often dismissed female athletes. Motivated by his teammates' character strength, Thomas embarked on a mission to transform the Cobalt City Wanderers. He leveraged his professional network to secure sponsorships, providing the team with new jerseys, top-of-the-line equipment, and access to a state-of-the-art training facility. The transformation was miraculous, as the team that once practiced on dusty lots and wore worn-out shoes now found themselves in a setting that mirrored the professional leagues. The newfound resources, however, were not enough to erase the scars of years of defeat. Thomas recognized that actual change required more than material improvements, it demanded a shift in mindset. He became a mentor to his teammates, instilling in them the belief that they were more than their circumstances. He conducted team-building exercises, fostering a sense of camaraderie that transcended socioeconomic backgrounds. The community, witnessing the Cobalt City Wanderers' metamorphosis, rallied behind the team in a wave of newfound support. Inspired by the team's resilience, local businesses contributed funds and resources to propel their journey further. Once resigned to defeat, the team began to view each match as an opportunity for redemption rather than an inevitable loss. The city buzzed with anticipation as spectators filled the stands, eager to witness the spectacle. The Cobalt City Wanderers, fueled by a newfound sense of purpose, took to the field with a determination that resonated through every pass, every tackle, and every goal attempt. As the match unfolded, it became clear that this was a different Cobalt City Wanderers. The players moved with synchronized precision, their movements a testament to the hours of dedicated practice and the unwavering belief instilled by Thomas. The impoverished roots that once held them back now fueled a hunger for success that surpassed the limitations of their circumstances. 
In a moment that transcended the confines of the soccer field, the Cobalt City Wanderers secured a historic victory against the reigning champions. The crowd's cheers echoed through the city, reverberating against the skyscrapers that had long cast shadows on their dreams. Tears of joy streamed down the faces of players who had once known only defeat, their triumph a symbol of resilience and the power of collective determination. The Cobalt City Wanderers' success story became an inspiration not just for soccer enthusiasts but for the entire community. The once-neglected neighborhoods now bore witness to the transformative power of sports, a force capable of breaking the chains of poverty and unleashing the potential hidden within each individual. Thomas Mitchell, the unassuming software engineer who had set out to uncover the secrets behind a losing streak, found himself at the center of a narrative that transcended the boundaries of sports. His journey with the Cobalt City Wanderers had resurrected a team and ignited a spark of hope that illuminated the city's darkest corners. The story of the Cobalt City Wanderers is a timeless reminder that true strength lies not in the absence of challenges but in the resilience to rise above them. The underdogs had defied the odds and rewritten the narrative of their lives, proving that a collective spirit of determination could turn the dust of defeat into the foundation for a triumphant rise.